Do you have a war on storage? When we bought our first RV, I thought it had more storage than I would ever fill. Tons of cabinet space above that we really haven't even put anything in yet, but just so much storage here. Then we bought our second RV and we moved from the first to the second, they said at the dealership. Now don't forget, we close at 6 p.m. And I thought, it's not going to take us very long to move our belongings from one to the other. We closed the place and stayed over. So had a lot more things than we thought we did. Don't get me wrong. This RV, the first one, had a lot of storage. A lot more than some others that I've seen. But after traveling these longer trips that we've taken over the past two years, six weeks, three months, four months, eight weeks, you accumulate a lot of stuff. Once we moved and we were on our way home with the new RV, I told Gary, when we get home, we are taking everything except those essentials like plates and cups and things like that out of the RV. Everything's coming off, out and we're starting all over. So we're going to play Stow or Go today. Going to go through some of those things that are bulky, take up a lot of room, um, things that weigh significant amount, and see what we can get rid of so that we can see what we still want to keep and stow it, or is it going to go? Stay tuned, see what's going to happen here, and at the end, we'll talk a little bit about storage. Okay, first of all, starting in the dining area. We were having a real problem with shoes. You know, you come in, you don't want to bring in all the dirt and gravel from the campgrounds and muddy trails and things. So I was trying to find a place. I came across a shoe storage from Ikea that I thought might work really well. You're supposed to be able to put your shoes in here. There's two separate sections. We've been just using it for storage. This is Rosie's winter coat, and I've got a hat and umbrella, things like that. And in the bottom, I do have my, uh, my hiking shoes are in here, and a few other things, another umbrella. Well, Gary's shoes are really big, <laughs> so his, he can only get one pair in one of the two sections. So that already has gone. We left it in the old camper and let them worry about it. <laughs> it wasn't worth bringing all the way home. Secondly, we have this little trash can here that we thought would be great for recycling. We're big on recycling at home, but we have found that campgrounds don't really recycle. It's few and far between. So I think that the trash can, it's gotta go. In the meantime, I found this, I think it, oh, this is from Ikea too. And it's just a nice big plastic piece, has a little bit of a lip on it. And we're gonna use this for shoes when you first come in. I'm gonna put it right over here in the dining room. Right there, out of the way. We can flip it up against the wall when we travel. Easy peasy. This last winter trip, for four months really showed us how much we had in here and we were just trying to store things anywhere we could find a place. Last year we had gone through Wisconsin and we went to the World, the Lumberjack World Championships. I was in Walmart one day and I saw this product and I thought we need that. We had been to the preliminaries and it was um, like bleacher seating and I thought, oh, it would be so nice to have something more comfortable. So I bought stadium seats. They're bulky, they're kind of heavy, and when we went back the next night to the championships, <laughs> people were just, just shoulder to shoulder. There was no way we were gonna be able to use these seats. I took them back to the truck, and we've never used them again. So I think they're going on to 
Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you where I've been keeping them. Here we go. I mean, they're not real heavy, but I got two of them. So, looks like they're going too. Here we go. Oh. Out you go. Something else we didn't think about traveling during the holidays was the holidays. So, stored behind the theater seats. Nice little Christmas tree. Uh, not too many ornaments and things to go along with it, but that's gonna go. And then we visited Gary's mom and she had a gift for us at Christmas time, of course. But, you know, she's not thinking about how much space things take up. <laughs> oh my gosh. A pillow and blanket. Yeah. It's like, where am I going to put it? Not in these cabinets. There's not enough space. So, theater seats. There's a little bit of room back there. So, Christmas tree and this... I think we had a few other things back there, but that was a great place for some extra storage. <laughs> it's definitely going home, not staying in the RV. While we sat in northwestern Arizona waiting for our new RV to be delivered, I started taking up a new hobby, and it is rock wrapping. So, show you a few examples of what it is, but I needed rocks. And guess what? The Colorado River was right there. Rocks weigh a lot. I think I have about 20 pounds of rocks, which sounds like a lot, but you know, this is probably a good four ounce rock. So four of them to a pound. I don't know, maybe more. I've got some bigger ones here. They weigh, you gotta keep into consideration the weight, weights and space. So the next time we go on a trip, I'm only bringing this small box with my rocks so that I can get something done. And maybe I'll look for new rocks. Maybe I'll find something at our new destination. Hopefully when you travel, you think about the seasons you know, you're going to the beach, you're going to need beach towels, you're going to need swimsuits, water toys, beach toys, all that kind of stuff. We were going to Arizona, and I had watched the weather, and it looked like it was going to be a fairly cool winter compared to, I mean, I thought we were going to go to Arizona and it was going to be nice and warm, but no, it was chilly, so I don't like the cold. So what did I pack? This nice big Sherpa blanket. And here I've got another smaller, a more lightweight blanket and flannel sheets. Didn't use, didn't use, didn't use. <laughs> I have a couple other blankets that are more lightweight than this one. I use those occasionally, you know, when I'm sitting on the couch, but I sure as heck didn't need all of this to pack and take up more room going and it's not coming back for the next winter trip we are RVers that like to socialize meet people go to parties um, so we like to go to rallies and things like that um, so a lot of times you go to those type of events and you have to bring something there's gonna be a potluck or you're gonna meet up with people for a different event and you need ways to serve things, food items. What are you gonna use? Usually, you know, it's just the two of us. We have a few plates and a few cups and a few glasses, not enough for a lot of people. So what I have learned is, first of all, let's talk about a little story. We were in Florida last winter we were going to go to a polo match. Gary used to play polo and we wanted to check out polo in Florida. We were gonna meet some people there 
and it was a St. Patrick's Day theme in March. I'm thinking, well, I don't have anything to set food out on, any decorations, so I am out buying all kinds of things. And then afterwards, I'm thinking, where am I going to put it? <laughs> so, the other thing is you go to a rally and let's say that there's a potluck. Most likely you're going to bring something that's in a crock pot, right? Or maybe you're going to set, set out sandwiches on a platter of some sort. So this is just a small sampling of things that I have. Of course, I bought this in uh, Tucson off of Facebook Marketplace for like $15. And it's kind of a bigger one. Let's bring it over here a little bit. It's one of the bigger ones. And I'm thinking about getting rid of this one and going with one of the smaller ones. I'm not sure I need this great big one, especially if only two people. Um, or even making something for 10 people. Probably not this big. Uh, serving. I think I put some uh, napkins in here, you know, with some utensils wrapped up or something. A nice big tray. This I thought was great. I just got this at the dollar store. And I thought the little plates were great for serving and then, you know, cover things, food, so that the bugs don't get at it. Those take up a lot of room. A few decorations, always have decorations for things. You know, I have napkins and plates and things that are all holiday specific. I bought this when we first started out. Oh, not with that in it. And this is, of course, to keep your food from getting the bugs. But it takes up a lot of room, too. My gosh, look at the size of this thing. Bucket, ice, beer, whatever. And then, like I said, we have to have some decorations. Oh, what happened to my other decoration? Oh, well, it's gone. Anyway, all of this and for the same polo event, we bought a canopy tent. <laughs> so, that takes up a lot of room. <laughs> so... Go minimalistic. Try to think ahead and only bring what you think you might need. And please don't go to the store and buy all kinds of things unless you think that you can store them at home. And that if you have a home of sticks and bricks, and you can store things there and only bring what you need for the next trip. So most everything here is going. Okay, two things that uh, are outside. They go in the basement. I'm not going to bring them inside. Haul them. Canopy tent. It's almost as tall as me. I'm five foot. See what I mean? Yeah. Of course, it was in the basement, but it's going home. I can't think of another time I might want to use it. We have awnings. <laughs> we'll deal with it. <laughs> the other thing is my trusted wagon. I love this wagon. It's great for doing laundry and trying to get from your RV to the laundry room at an RV park. Or even, you know, even if you're going someplace, you have a lot of stuff you're going to go and, and use at the beach or whatever, because this one's got pretty good sized wheels too. We like it. So put a couple of kids in there. A couple of the grandkids can go in there. <laughs> Make it work. This will stay always. So let's talk a little bit about some storage options so that everything stays organized. I'm not one to shop a lot at Dollar Tree. I just don't. I Personally, I think they're kind of flimsy and they don't last. I'd rather spend a few extra dollars and get something that's going to last me a while. I'm not sure where I bought these, but these are nice. It's kind of hard plastic but they have some grippies on the inside there's three different sizes and I think that these are great for in these big in these big drawers here got a couple of them in there already so just trying to keep some things organized there a big stuff I'm not in the shot all right these I just bought um, off of Amazon, four different sizes, just little clear plastic. They're going to go in different cabinets all over the place, depending on what we need, all the way down to these tiny little guys. They also came with little grippies, just little grippy dots. Isn't that awesome? 
they won't go anywhere. And in an RV, we know everything moves. Um, these, I just got two. They are just clear plastic. And I'm going to use these in my utensil drawer. Because right now, it's just trying to dig and find things. These little containers, little totes, work all over the place. I use them randomly everywhere. Saying all of this. this one's great for in the refrigerator. I'm sure that as I start filling this up, I'm going to add more, take away some until I find the right organization for my refrigerator. Everybody's different. Let me talk about this. I have these in all kinds of different sizes, and they... You know, when you buy sheets and blankets and things, they come. Comforters are a great one. I always save these because they're great for storing clothes and uh, blankets, linens, things like that. So hang on to these. Don't throw them away. Use them in the RV. I put them in the under bed storage for my clothes all the time. Another thing that I found recently was at um, Ikea. I found these great containers here. They're soft. I think this cost me $5 for, I think they're $5 a piece. I bought like four of them. In here are those, um, the flannel sheets and the two blankets that I showed you earlier. They're all in there and there's still room. So I will most likely, on our next trip, we're going to be in like three different seasons and I'm going to have spring, summer, and winter clothes most likely. Coats, great for coats too. Anything that you're gonna store out of the way that's soft. Also, let's talk about some hidden storage that you might not think too much about. Um, does your pull-out couch have some room under the cushions that you can store things? Some do, we've seen some that do. So check that out, maybe you don't even know it and you have some space there. Um, another thing is your dining chairs. A lot of times the seat opens up and you can put placemats and things under there. So that's another good one. And then the third one is behind your theater seats. <laughs> As you know, I told you during the winter, we put a few things back there because there was just enough room and it did not get in the way uh, when we pulled the seats out to lay back. So that worked out. And of course, you know that under your bed, you have a ton of storage under there. I found these great little baskets. Um, I think these are from Ikea too. They just barely fit in here. I had to like push them in really hard. But I use my label maker so that we know what's in each one. I've got two of them. There's one back there, but they fit great in here. There's a little extra room on the side. Oh, here's something else I do. You probably can't see it, but you can see the reflection. Okay, way back there. Looks like it didn't stick well. I'll have to figure that out. I bought dividers for in the, uh, in the cabinets. Let me show you. Whoop, this way. All right. There's a divider right here. And they have adhesive on the bottom. And I thought they would be great for in these four cabinets that are above the sofa to kind of keep things from jiggling all over the place. I took two of those and put them here in the back of these really, really deep cabinets in the bathroom. Because, you know, they go all the way back there. I don't want to have to try to get things way back there, so adhesive dividers awesome okay excuse the mess gary is doing some work in here and we've taken our whole bed apart but something that i use a couple of things here in the bedroom um i love these rope baskets keep all kinds of goodies in here um since we're reorganizing in this rv now I am going to be using these for my clothes, shorts, pants, leggings, things like that, um, odds and ends, you know. And then, and those will go on the top up there. And then for Gary, for his clothes, his running clothes, accessories, things that he needs, in our washer dryer closet, since we don't have a washer and dryer, 
I bought that. So nice three big drawers or plastic. I bought the cheaper ones, the Sterlite ones, just because mostly because they're really light. But I think that there'll be plenty of room for those items for him. And there's still a little room on the side. Might be able to hang a few jackets in there or something. And then we still have a lot of storage in the bottom. Two big shelves down there for some big bulky items. Okay, gang. I hope that you got something out of that. Remember, always take into consideration weight distribution. Don't put everything on one slide, uh, on one side or the other of your RV, um, especially on the sides. You have to think about the weight. Contain, contain, contain. Uh, lots of containers to put things in, like I said, so they don't slide around. Also, condense. I mean, really, two people, how many towels are, are you going to need? We bring three or four towels. That's it. I'm not going to have a ton of extra towels here that I have to worry about. And, you know, we just try to bring as little as possible. Pack specifically for the trip that you're going to be on, which is why I am going to start a new habit of emptying everything out of the trailer after each trip. So I can only put in what we're going to need for the next trip. I'm, everybody, I'm sure, has lots of storage options for their RVs. Take advantage of them. Make sure things aren't rattling around. That's all I have right now. I'm standing in a really hot RV. Um, we just have the solar. So I can't turn on the air conditioner right now. And it's time to go. We've done some stowing and we've done some going. And... We hope that you got something out of this video. And uh, like I said, if you have any storage tips, let us know below. We can all use the help. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Hit, hit the bell so that you get uh, notifications when we have new videos out. And then we will see you on the trail.